Good morning students. In the development of kidneys, these are the various congenital anomalies of the kidneys, which is a very important topic. So, in the various anomalies of developing kidneys, this topic can also be taken as a part of applied anatomy. So, this is a pure congenital anomalies which are during the process of development of the kidneys. The first anomaly during the process of development, this is very interesting. Here I am going to write down the numbers. The first anomaly will be, we start with the agenesis, this is known as agenesis of one side kidney, of one side kidney. And this agenesis of one side kidney, you simply have to mention that there will be failure of development of one side kidney. That is called agenesis of one sided kidney. Second anomaly, now the second anomaly of this will be, in the second anomaly, <coughs> there will be multiple kidneys. Multiple kidneys, we refer to this as, on one side there may be development of more than one kidneys. So on one side because of the early splitting of the mesonephric duct or ureteric bud, there may be development of more than one kidneys on one side. That is called multiple kidneys. Third, the third anomaly which we discuss will be it will be known as the, there will be a situation in which the kidneys will not ascend. That means they will not ascend to its respective below the diaphragmatic position. This will be known as the pelvic kidney. So therefore, it is called pelvic kidney. This is very important. What is pelvic kidney in which the kidneys will fail to ascend in its normal anatomical position. The kidneys will remain within the pelvic cavity. And why this pelvic cavity occurs is because of <coughs> abnormal fold of peritoneum. There will be an abnormal fold of peritoneum which will arise from the lateral umbilical, sorry, the lateral abdominal wall. From the lateral abdominal wall there will be a fold of peritoneum which will not allow the kidneys to ascend. That is why the kidneys will remain in pelvic position. Abnormal fold of peritoneum from the lateral side. It will also contain umbilical artery this fold of peritoneum, which is abnormal. So, this is called pelvic kidney. Now, fourth, we come to the fourth one on this side. In the fourth anomaly here, after the pelvic kidney, there will be a type of kidney in which one-sided kidney will be fused to other side. And this will be known as the fused kidneys. Please note down. In fused kidneys, one side of the kidney, either right, will fuse with the left side or left will fuse to the right side. So this will be known as the fused kidneys. That is anomaly number 4. Then we come to anomaly number 5. In the anomaly number 5, there is fetal lobulation. If you consider this, fetal lobulation. This is normal. This fetal lobulation will be normal. Now, presence of fetal lobulations on the surface of the fetal kidneys will remain till one year after birth. That is normal. But immediately after one year after birth, it has to disappear. So, fetal lobulations will disappear in adult kidney. But sometimes these fetal lobulations will persist. It will remain in the adult kidneys. So, this is known as the persistence of fetal lobulations in adult kidneys. That is anomaly number 5. Then we come to anomaly number 6. In anom anomaly number 6, we will name this anomaly as the horseshoe kidney. This is frequently asked. Question, maybe why one more question answer or in short not also. Horseshoe kidney. What is horseshoe kidney? In horseshoe kidney, the kidneys of both the sides, the kidneys of both the sides will be joined with each other through their lower fold. So if I draw the kidneys, this is how the kidneys of both the sides will be fused with each other through their lower fold. And they will fuse with each other in front of aorta and vena cava. So therefore, if I draw this aorta and vena cava, this will be the vena cava and this will be the aorta. So in front of aorta and vena cava, 
this lower pole of both the kidneys, the lower pole of both the kidneys will be fused with each other. So this shape is known as horseshoe kidney. Now what will happen will be, this horseshoe shaped kidneys where the lower poles of both the kidneys are fused with each other across the median line in front of aorta and vena cava will remain at a lower plane. They will not ascend at their normal anatomical position, they will remain in lower plane. And why their ascent is not allowed, why their ascent is arrested, that is because of inferior mesenteric artery. So because of inferior mesenteric artery which passes in front of this abnormal <coughs> lower connection, the ascent of these kidneys is not allowed. So inferior mesenteric artery will arrest the ascent of these such type of kidneys and such type of kidneys where their lower poles are fused across median plane with each other is known as horse shoe shaped kidney. So this is anomaly number 6. Now we come on this side, anomaly number 7. Please come on this side. So in anomaly number 7 we shall discuss there will be one another shape kidney which will be known as disc kidney or in some textbooks it has been referred to as pancake kidney and what is this pancake kidney it is simply that both the kidneys have fused with each other in the median plane in such a way that these are both the kidneys the kidneys have both the sides they have fused with each other and behind the kidneys will be vena cava and aorta behind the kidneys will be vena cava as well as aorta. So therefore in front of the median plane both the kidneys are fused with each other they will carry a shape which will resemble a disc or in some textbooks they have mentioned it as pancake. So it is a pancake shaped kidney or disc kidney in which both the kidneys they are fused in one mass across the median plane. Where will the hilum of both the kidneys? The hilum of such kidneys will be posteriorly in the median plane of course but posteriorly will be the hilum. And through that hilum only the renal pelvis, the ureters will descend. So it is disc kidney. Then we come to anomaly number 8. Now this is very important. It is known as congenital polycystic kidney. This is frequently asked question. Congenital polycystic kidney, one mark question or maybe asked as two marks or viva question or MCQ. Now this congenital polycystic kidney is very common anomaly in which it is it has been held that it is because of non-fusion of secretory and collecting portion or it is because of non-fusion of excretory part and collecting part of the kidney. So here it is non-fusion of the secretory part and the collecting part of the kidneys or it is a non-fusion of excretory part and collecting part of the kidneys which gives rise to congenital polycystic kidney. What is found in this? There is cyst present on numerous cysts. They are present on surface of kidney. So all the cysts which are present on the surface of the kidney. So many cysts are found on surface of kidney. They are filled with urine. They are filled with urine. And now it has also been suggested recently that this congenital polycystic kidney where numerous cysts are found on the surface of kidney filled with urine, they are also because of abnormal dilatation of uniniferous tubules. During the process of development there may be abnormal dilatations which are present in uniniferous tubules and therefore in adult kidneys these abnormal dilatations of uniniferous tubules will resemble or they will form cysts on the normal kidney, surface of kidney filled with urine. So it is called congenital polycystic kidney. That is number 8. Now we come over here, please come over here in which anomaly number 9. Now in anomaly number 9, we will discuss the accessory renal artery. The accessory renal artery. This is very important. Now this accessory renal artery is, it is a precocious, it is a precocious origin of segmental artery precocious origin of segmental artery from from the aorta. So this will be known as 
accessory renal artery. Now this accessory renal artery may be present at the upper pole or lower pole of the kidney, either way. Now the lower pole of the kidney, if the accessory renal artery is present, which is a precocious origin of segmental artery from aorta, it may cause obstruction to urine, which will lead to hydronephrosis. It may cause obstruction of urine, which may lead to hydronephrosis. So this is accessory renal artery. And another reason which is given is this accessory renal artery, it may be abnormal persistence of mesonephric artery also. Abnormal persistence of mesonephric artery is also considered as accessory renal artery. It is basically precocious origin of segmental artery from the aorta. That is anomaly number 9. Now we come to the anomaly number 10. <coughs> now here, in anomaly number 10, note down floating kidney. We will refer to this as floating kidneys. Now these floating kidneys, basically, they are, sometimes the kidneys are suspended by abnormal fold of peritoneal, abnormal fold of peritoneum. This is abnormal fold of peritoneum from the posterior abdominal wall. From the posterior abdominal wall, there is an abnormal fold of peritoneum. And therefore, because of this, the upper pole of the kidney, the upper pole of the kidney, will be tilted forwards. The upper pole of kidney will be tilted forwards. And because of the tilting of upper pole of the kidney forwards, there will be twisting of, there will be the twisting of renal vessels and renal pelvis, that is the upper part of the ureters. So, because of the abnormal upper pole, which is tilted forwards, it will lead to twisting of renal vessels as, as well as renal pelvis. And what will all these conditions lead to? All these conditions, they will lead to the pain, severe pain in the loin. They will lead to severe pain in the loin region and obstruction of urine. And they will lead to obstruction of urine. And this condition here, this condition will be known as Dietel's crisis. D I E D I E T L S. Dietel's crisis. This is often asked as one more question answer. So, what is Dietel's crisis? This Dietel's crisis is nothing but there will be the obstruction of urine and severe pain in the loin. Why? Because of the tilting of the upper pole of the kidney forwards, which will cause the twisting of renal vessels and renal pelvis which will lead to obstruction of the urine. So, this happens in floating kidney. So, therefore, these are the anomalies in which accessory renal artery and the floating kidneys, they are one of the important congenital anomalies which are associated with the development. Now, in the anomaly number 11, here we come up with single kidney but double ureter. This is also an anomaly which can be found in the routine dissection also. In cadaveric dissection in which you may encounter there is one kidney but presence of double ureter. Now in such cases there may be this will be the kidney on both the sides and there will be presence of double ureters and sometimes these ureters will be passing like this, <coughs> double ureter, and they will pass right into the bladder, in which the lower ureter will open at its normal position in the bladder, but the upper ureter will pass at a lower position, abnormal position, lower position in the urinary bladder. These cases you may encounter in cadaveric dissection, single kidney having presence of double ureter, and this may be because of the early splitting of the one ureteric bud on one side. If it is present on the right side, then there may be early splitting of the ureteric bud on the right side into two subdivisions, which will lead to development of two ureters. And these such type of cases may be either unilateral or bilateral also. Both the sides it may be present. 
and in double size bilateral ureter also there may be early splitting of right and left ureteric buds both the sides which will lead to development of two to double ureters on both sides right side and left side so this anomaly will be known as single kidney but with double ureters and remember it may be unilateral or it may be present bilateral either way and that will be only because of the complete early splitting of the mesonephric duct or the early splitting of ureteric bud into two parts which will it is basically very simple so therefore it may cause to the leading of the it may lead to the double ureters so here we finish all these 11 anomalies of the developing kidneys thank you very much